All right, hey, this is Dr. D. So I'm gonna be talking about how we can use the newspaper in math because I think the newspaper has a lot of really cool information. It has a lot of great math connections. The students see the newspaper, it's about their community. So you're building a cultural context. And as you know, it's tax season. So there's a lot of great connections to financial literacy and savings, everything that has to do with math and m -m -m money. So this week, we've been working on ratios. Well, actually, we've been working on ratios for quite some time. And now we're doing a project-based learning activity with my kiddos. And they're going to try to find um, the ratio of their salary to their cost of living, which is really important for kids to become financial literacy, but also for them to apply ratios in the real life. So I started off with this awesome, um, whew, I don't know about if awesome is a really great word, but it's about teacher housing in our community. And we talked about what is the cost of living to, to, ha to be able to afford a home here in Santa Cruz. And then we looked at, um, of course, I blacked out some numbers here. I, we looked at the teacher's salary, the average teacher's starting salary for the school district in our community. And I asked them to try to figure out what is the hourly rate given the amount per year. So this was a great way for us to start building our ratio table, plugging in the annual salary, and then determining um, how much they make a month, how much they make a week, and then how much an hour. But of course, as we're going from ratios, we're also going to start building in 2%. So our next task is going to be looking at... Um, taxes and based on their salary how much would they pay in taxes a year so the salary project is our next project-based learning activity kids are going to be computing um, their annual salary their monthly weekly daily and hourly um, based on a salary they choose and then we'll start asking some really big questions about you know based on the median price of a home can you afford to live here what how much would you need in savings so building on the financial literacy students funds of knowledge things that they're familiar with and just using a newspaper I remember my first year of teaching and my principal said to me you know what if you're a good teacher all you need is this this newspaper here so think about some connections you can make in your math classroom with current events and things that kids are familiar with that's all for today